Hello and welcome everybody to this uh, tutorial about how to make clutch mechanism in SOLIDWORKS Here is Sehini Jigam, mechatronic engineer So today we're gonna learn how to assemble the part to create the whole system So we're gonna begin by placing the chassis, the first part We go in new and we select assembly OK, the assembly uh, functions will uh, open up. Uh, begin assembly is the first window that opens. We click on browse here. And we're going to choose our first part to place, which is the chassis. Open. And then we click uh, anywhere just to put the part inside the assembly document here uh, we can uh, spin up the uh, model by uh, clicking the mouse wheel and by moving the mouse we can rotate ok we're gonna uh, insert our first part which is the motor shaft we go in assembly Insert component, the second button, and we click on Browse. We choose uh, the motor shaft in the folder that uh, contains our SOLIDWORKS part that we have already created. Click on Open. Okay, here's the part. It's not yet inside the uh, assembly. We must click anywhere like this. Okay. Now is inside. Mm, we need to uh, insert the part inside the chassis. So how are we gonna do that? We click on the uh, cylindrical surface here. Either we go in the floating menu and we click on Mate, or we click on Mate on the uh, upper window. Okay and then we click on the second circular surface that is inside the chassis here okay the SOLIDWORKS is gonna recognize the two cylindrical surface and automatically choose the concentric relation okay we uh, click add finish to validate okay but uh, there is a little problem we need the friction disk inside the uh, chassis area so we can invert it you go on the creation tree we click on the plus icon in constraint here we have the first constraint created we click on it and then we edit feature or right click edit feature and then we have the uh, directions anti-aligned aligned, we choose aligned the component is going to change automatically its direction ok uh -huh. we must select the, the surface again ok good and then we have our first part placed as we can see it can spin, rotate and also translate we're gonna need this, this translation uh, later we're gonna see why then we're gonna need to insert our second component which is uh, the swinging rod the fork mechanism it's uh, the small part for this little road as we did for the motor shaft we click on the inner surface we click mate and we click on the cylindrical surface of uh, the motor shaft it must be, uh, be between these two uh, shoulder surface but first we're going to need to invert direction so in the floating menu we click flip mate alignment okay we need this little road here 
to be from the uh, left side okay this fork is now concentric with the motor shaft we only need to place it uh, between the two shoulder surface here how are we gonna make that now we need to make the um, plane relation so we click on the plane surface here and we click on the uh, shoulder surface of the first shoulder okay so now the mates we click add finish okay the only movement that remains is rotation toward the motor uh, shaft we can eliminate this rotation by adding a new part which is uh, a search component bros and the swinging road okay we open it we place it anywhere to begin and then we need to place it in the correspondent hole so we select this little road for the swing in uh, road click on mate and then we click on the little hole uh, of the first plate of the chassis here okay it's concentric we click on ok and then we try to move it with the mouse a little bit to the left like this is ok so if we have respected all our uh, dimensions we must be able to place this at a minimum distance here uh, we clear the uh, all the uh, selections that can be made and then we go in distance and we put two millimeters this distance is gonna place the road toward the chassis on the uh, x axis so we click on the chassis surface and on the plane surface of the swinging road okay we need a distance of about two millimeters is okay we click okay and uh, what we need next is a tangent relation that will allow uh, our swinging rod to move the fork upward and backward how we do that we have the tangent relation here you click on it for the tangent relation we must select a cylindrical surface and a plane surface our cylindrical surface is going to be this uh, finger of the fork and our plane surface is going to be the uh, surface from inside of the road here ok we click ok and we click uh, the final ok here upper ok now we try to move our swinging rod the shaft will go forward and upward like a real clutch mechanism in uh, a car for example ok the first part of the assembly is almost finished we only still need to place the receiver shaft as usual we go in a third component browse receiver shaft open uh, we place it anywhere to begin and as we did for the minor shaft the receiver shaft is going to be concentric to this inner surface of the chassis so we select the uh, big uh, cylindrical surface we click on mate either you choose concentric relation or you uh, select uh, directly the uh, inner cylindrical surface of the chassis like this is blue here and we click ok but for this one we need to uh, uh, 
select a distance because this disk is not supposed to move upward and forward like the motor shaft so we click on the uh, back surface of the disk and the uh, first surface of the chassis like here the coincident so if we need a little distance we click here on distance on the floating menu and we put uh, something like 10 millimeters is okay okay good so now the receiver shaft is able to move freely to rotate freely but uh, it has uh, uh, a distance on the z axis which is constant okay that's good so uh, only one part still left is the uh, gear go and insert component browse and choose gear the blue gear for me okay so as we notice is a hexagon this hexagon surface is gonna guide our road and uh, is gonna make the rotation uh, dependent for the two apart so uh, as usual concentric correlation uh, with this surface click on mate this surface and the main surface for the road okay and for the hexagon we only need to cho choose one of the six surface for example this one we put a parallel and you select another one from the receiver road okay that's good now the two parts spins together we only need to assemble the uh, gear so we click on the uh, plane surface from the back and we must choose uh, the plane surface which the where the uh, hexagon begins here plane surface it's gonna be uh, like uh, coincident then we click ok now our mechanism is fully assembled we can go to the, to the simulation